vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken Suffering's a way to earn your keep I better start putting miles on Happy Sunday everyone. I have been spending the day so far. What time is it? Half one. I've been spending the day so far since like eight in the morning. Painting, filling, sanding, filling, painting, sanding, etc. Um, and I thought I would I thought I would share what I've been doing because some of you might be doing similar and want tips. I'm no expert, but this is how I've been doing it. So all the cupboards are like, not, I don't know, 75% built. We haven't got the doors on or the like internal shelving or drawers. And there's like one section of boxing in that needs to be put back when they finish the fireplace. But I've done about two layers. Well, I haven't done the fridge and the freezer, but I've done two layers on these cupboards of wood pr uh, primer, which is important um, so that the wood doesn't warp or I don't know, it's just a good thing to do before you put the actual paint on so that there's kind of like a, a layer of primer and underneath the primer, we use knot sealant on all the knots. So if you're painting any wood with any knots, skirting boards, cupboards, anything, use knot sealant because otherwise eventually there'll be like a yellow sort of tone come through where all the knots are which is not ideal. So yeah, I did a layer of knot sealant, or two layers actually, just on the knots, then two layers of uh, wood primer, and then um, this wood filler to go around any holes. It's really easy to do that once you've painted, so do like one layer of paint first, and then you'll notice because of the, the difference between the like, the, the white makes it show up basically. And I've gone round and like filled in, especially around the moldings that were put on the top. There's always gonna be tiny little gaps where one piece of wood meets another. So I've gone around and filled all of that, let it dry and then um, sanded it. Same goes for any nails or any um, screws, filled all of those and sanded it. And it's a similar thing we're probably gonna have to do on all these doors because there's so much, woodwork we have to paint in this room and it's just going to take a long time and yeah similar thing to these doors we'll probably be sanding them filling them sanding them painting them probably then filling more holes and sanding them it just it, it really makes for a really lovely finish if you do it this way whereas if you just paint and then don't fill or don't you know you kind of try and fill the holes with paint or anything it doesn't have that like really lovely finish to it so that's where we're at now i I have to do the things a little bit bitty because tomorrow our worktops are being um, measured and we're not 100% sure if tomorrow they remove the worktops or if they're just measuring them. Um, so I'm hoping to find out. I'm gonna give them a call tomorrow. I did email them, but yeah, hoping to find that out tomorrow. And we're also having our fireplace done tomorrow. So um, it's all a bit bitty and like I said I've had to remove some boxing in around the fireplace so I can't paint those and also um, I'm wary of painting too much because of workmen being here so if they're doing the fireplace there's like it's very close to where the cupboards are in an ideal world the fireplace would have been done first but timings and that just isn't always the way it goes um, and yeah I'm just really hoping that they don't cause any damage because I'm not entirely sure how to like properly protect the, the the cupboards because you can't really like hang, how are we gonna do that? You can't really hang a cloth over them. Uh, yeah. But like down the sides. I'm sure they'll help, I'll talk to them about it in the morning and I'll explain how precious the cupboards are. I'll be like, please be careful because they're brand new and I've painted them. So I'm sure they'll be careful. It's just they're you know, using like a big machine to remove all the um, cement. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be quite intense and dusty in here. Um, and yeah, the green, so these ones are white, but then the fridge freezer um, is gonna be green, like to match the kitchen. And I'm just wary of painting too much green now because of just, it's just so difficult to know when to do it because it's like, do I do it before the cupboards go on? Do we do it when we paint the whole kitchen and just remove the doors? No, I, ha I think I have to paint, 
I do have to paint at least the inside at the top green. Um, yeah, before the before the doors go on because the doors will be attached to the fridge and the freezer door so we won't be able to remove them. So I just need to like write a list and plan. It's like quite bitty. If you're working around tradesmen, you can't just like paint layer by layer by layer and do it that way. You have to do it kind of piece by piece as you go. Um, yeah, and then when the um, when the shelves go in and the drawers, we're gonna have to paint those as well. So that's, but then those actually we can remove. So we don't have to, like they'll be easier to paint because I can just paint them outside or something. So that'll be simpler. But let me show you what it's looking like now because I'm very proud, but the, ha the, the room is a mess. That's the only thing, so much mess. So the cupboards are looking way better. They're like, so hard to show you as always the lighting just makes my life so difficult uh the insides have about four so like two layers of mdf primer two layers of lick white 01 in eggshell and then there's about two layers of wood primer on the pine that's on the outside and then this again two layers of the wood primer and then on the front grates i've used like a sponge to paint that in mdf primer I went to Screwfix to try and find spray white paint and they didn't have any and I think maybe that's something I'll just have to get another time and just finish it off with the spray because I can't get in like inside you can see there's like MDF inside I can't get to but it looks really great and they're just looking really bright and beautiful but what I was trying to explain is these little pieces go either side of here and I just asked Anthony to remove them so that they can do the fireplace but obviously that's so so close um and I think in an ideal world they would have done it before these cupboards were in so they could properly like access and get in there to um remove the concrete but they're just gonna have to work around it and we're just gonna have to explain to them and say is there a way of protecting the cupboards so that you don't you know I don't want the cement to hit the cupboards because this is like quite soft wood and this is the state of the room just crap everywhere but it's really coming together and this week's gonna be a big one so <laughs> i'll take you along and um, show you the progress with the fireplace i think the plan is they're going to be doing the rendering first and then they'll fit the fireplace but i'm gonna have a cup of tea now and a break <laughs> Is there another small roller? Yeah. Well, this is just a test, to be honest. If suffering's a way to earn your keep, I better start putting miles on my feet. Who else loved this colour? <gasps> Cause same. Oh my gosh. So happy with it. It's like very similar to our kitchen currently. Just a little bit happier, I think. day and um, you can see we have painted our cabinet green it looks so good I'm so pleased with it it's just the perfect color it's green 09 in lick and it's eggshell I think it could do with one more coat just because there's like 
a couple bits which I obviously with a roller haven't perfectly gone over um, but just yeah a really light final coat but I'm not going to do that until all the tradesmen are gone but today this fireplace is being rendered we need to move this freezer somewhere bit nervous about these cupboards because of the stuff I mentioned but we're going to try and cover them as best as we can and put the freezer somewhere else I'm thinking of hanging some kind of dust sheet here like I did um when I was doing the sanding. So I'll put that up and yeah, hopefully that will protect the rest of the house from getting too dusty. afternoon everyone it is Monday afternoon and I've been out all day we went I went to get a hydrofacial let me show you my skin I think I did get a little clip but I was gifted a hydrofacial at Aqua in Truro I'm gonna go back in like two months because the difference it made to my skin like I feel like it looks like I'm wearing makeup and I'm not just afterwards my skin looked like glass it was so glowy it was such a good experience I'm gonna go back because she was like oh it's really good if you come back after like a couple months because then it can kind of get more they like basically extract a lot of the dirt out your skin I think I had a clip or a photo I'll insert a photo here of all the dirt that came out my skin honestly loved it we have had as you can see workmen in here today doing our fireplace this morning we taped up all the cupboards to make sure they're safe and he has ripped out all of the concrete so they're going to re-point this with lime mortar unfortunately he couldn't really get too far around the edge because of the cupboards being here so i hope i don't know what they're going to do there but i hope they're able to like go over it with the lime and make a kind of even edge i think i'll speak to him tomorrow about it like what their plan of action is because i don't want it to look weird like i don't want it to look like lime meeting cement like i don't yeah and i also want them to fill this kind of gap at the top the fireplace is out there it is i'm gonna get a new one put in and yeah i think this will really make this much more stand out and and beautiful looking and the guys from everything stone were here to measure up the worktops and plan everything out because we've got lots to consider especially around the argo like all these funny edges they're going to mold it all around that nice and neatly there's probably not going to be much action from us in this kitchen this week just because the fireplace is being done but once that's done we can probably rip the worktops off and yeah get on with finishing the cupboards and anthony can get on with finishing the cupboards so we can paint everything and then when everyone's gone we can do the floors yeah and do the, do the walls and these don't have to do these now yeah Really fun. It's... I forgot we have to repaint all the existing <laughs> cupboards. And, do all the... and then we've got to do this dresser. It's fun. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting so, so there.
Good morning everyone. Sorry if it's kind of rainy. Not rainy, windy. Um, I've come outside because I want to show you something that Alex put up yesterday. <laughs> he decided to buy a hot tub. <laughs> this just sums Alex up. He's like, because we were having a really lovely summer and one day we would love to get a proper hot tub. He ordered this one um, online, which is called Lazy Spa. I'll leave it linked below if any of you are interested in getting one of these ones, but it's like a blow up miniature hot tub. Um, and I think it's gonna be really, really fun. So he's filled it and he's been heating it. And hopefully we get some better weather soon because right now it's, you know, pretty blustery and not the loveliest of weather, but I think next week it's gonna be nice. I mean, the thing is though, hot tubs are good to enjoy when it's not the best weather because it warms you up and it's cozy. Um, but yeah, that's what our decking area has turned into. And I think we can use this for years and years and years to come until eventually one day we do maybe an extension or something and get an actual hot tub, but that is like dreams in the future. <laughs> I'm gonna go back inside and show you some updates and then we're going to get painting today because um i have the weekend i have actually got until 5 p.m this evening well not 5 p.m i probably only got about until about three because i'm going out this evening to see my friends and um i'll probably have to stop but it's about 11 o'clock now so i feel like i can get like a couple coats in or a few hours of painting in um and that'll be a good way to spend today but yeah this week we were doing the fireplace and i think i vlogged a bit but also it was work week and when there are like workmen here i feel a bit embarrassed if we got the camera so they have rendered the fireplace with lime mortar and it's really lightened up since i think i last showed you i've been spraying it with water they said to do this so that it wouldn't crack so much and i think i just need to dust off this bit i think there's a little bit of um the mortar on the actual stone so i can clean that up once it's totally dried and down here you can see they've removed there's like a concrete kind of base they've removed that and they removed a little bit of the wood just to see what was underneath because we need to build a hearth originally he suggested like a superficial hearth which you can get some wood burners which basically is like a thin piece of slate that will sit on top of whatever's below and then you get a wood burner that's raised up enough that it wouldn't heat the superficial hearth um enough so it could like burn anything underneath that we found a wood burner so it's kind of like a long story and i don't necessarily know i don't know sometimes i want to share these things and then people in the comments say to me oh my gosh too much talking can you just tell me what happened or can you just show me what you're doing but i know lots of you like the talking so i'm going to tell you the story and if you find me talking boring just skip this bit and you'll be able to see when the actual action of the renovation starts so everyone's happy um so he originally said, let's get a superficial hearth to pop on top of the floorboards because you've not got a hearth and that's actually not allowed. Like you're supposed to have a hearth when you install a wood burner for safety reasons. And he suggested a Charnwood Air 3. I'll put a picture on screen here. And I was like, yeah, sounds good. I'll just trust whatever you, get, you, you suggest. Cause I actually heard of Charnwood stoves from Old House Our Home. Josie and Charlie, I watch um, a lot of their renovation videos about their house and they have got some of those in their house. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, and I've heard of Charmwood stoves. They, they're supposed to be like a really good company because it's all like UK, British made. And yeah, I think it's made in the, they're made in the Isle of Wight, I think. And so I was like, yeah, sounds great. I looked at the, the stove, thought it looked good. And then um, yesterday he was talking to us about it and I don't know how it came up. I think I showed my sister the wood burner we were gonna get. And she was like, oh, I'm surprised. I thought you might go for something a bit more traditional. And I didn't realize there were so many more stoves available on the website. So I went and had a look at some of the other ones. I think I just looked at it on my phone and didn't realize there were so many options. So I looked at loads of other ones and I found this one called the Country Four. I'll leave a picture here. It's in a beautiful cream color. And I remembered that Old House Our Home on their Instagram. I remember the photo they put up of this particular stove. And I found that picture, showed it to him and he was like, okay, I'll um, have a look at that and I'll get rid of some of the floorboard to see if we can do a constructional hearth so that you're able to get this particular wood burner because it wouldn't work with the superficial hearth because I think the wood burner sits too low, it could be um, not good for the floorboards or whatever. And he, he cut out that piece, said, yeah, we can build a constructional hearth, so we'll get an actual hearth put in. Then we're gonna have that beautiful 
almond coloured wood burner and it will match really beautifully with our Arga. So shout out to my sister for actually suggesting this and calling us out on the, um, the wood burner choice because I think when you make loads and loads of decisions, you just kind of go along with things and then you, you don't take the time to think because you're like thinking about lots of different things all at once. Um, but I'm so excited now at the idea of a really girly, cute, like cream coloured wood burner that's super cottagey and I think it would look brilliant with the new lime mortar rendered sort of surround, the stone. I just think it's going to look amazing and um, hopefully it will look lovely with all the colours in here, so the green and the white and the beans. And eventually when we sand the floorboards, um, yeah, they're doing that on Wednesday. I think he's coming back. So that was another thing, the Air 3. Part, I know, I missed that part of the story. Part of the reason that we actually were having a conversation about changing the wood burner not, was not just because my sister was like, oh, I'm surprised you're going for a modern one. The reason I was looking at them and showing them to her was because he had ordered the Air 3 and it accidentally got sold to somebody else. I think he'd put it on hold at the showroom they'd accidentally miscommunication, sold it to someone else, and there'd be like a two or three week wait. So he was like, are there any others you wanna look at that we could get in quicker? And luckily the one we want, he can get for next Wednesday. So they're gonna come back on Wednesday and install it. And yeah, it's Cornwall Stoves who's doing our wood burners. I'll leave them linked below. Such a lovely guy. Um, and yeah, he's been great and really, really reputable. Know what he's talking about. And, um, oh yeah, I can actually show you some clips of, I think I probably did already insert them, some clips of the cherry picker. They were doing the chimney and lining the chimney and everything. And I think once they finish this one in a few weeks time, they'll go into the living room and do the one in the living room. So we'll have to make another choice of wood burner. I think we'll go for a black one in the living room. And I'm gonna pull all of these sheets down and start painting, get out of my lovely outfit. Alex is out doing some chores, he's going to buy some bits, gone to the dump, that kind of thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm gonna pull all these sheets down that are covering up the cupboards. And I think I'm gonna try and get like the final layer of paint on all of the cupboards. I think there's just one more paint coat that's needed. I think this side, just this one piece here needs two more coats because I didn't get to do another coat because I had to fill a hole. But yeah, it's gonna be some dusting to do and some hoovering first because all of the things got covered with some of the some of the stone or whatever it's called. I'm gonna wash my face as well because it's like Saturday morning and I haven't washed my face. I love Saturday mornings just to relax, to like watch reality TV, have breakfast and do nothing. It's really important after a busy week. Anyway, I'm gonna go get changed and we're gonna get painting. You're gonna have more footage of me painting these bloody cupboards. We're trying to actually find a decorator to potentially do the rest of the kitchen because it is driving me a little mad um, because there's so many layers to do. And I, the, just the sheer quantity that I know that is left to do is putting me on edge a bit. Um, and I would like the kitchen to be finished so it doesn't interrupt my work so much. Because as you probably noticed, I haven't been doing food videos because I'm not really able to, also not really inspired to because it's kind of difficult in here right now. Um, so yeah, we're trying to find a decorator to finish, at least if I do the cupboards, they can do the walls and the cupboards here, but it's just finding someone because our wood, our worktops go in in like a couple weeks and I just don't think we'll find anybody. Yeah, we also found out that our, <laughs> our worktops won't be removed by the people who are installing them. I think that I just, it was a miscommunication and I had it in my head that they were removing them. Found out that they're not, so our carpenter is going to be doing that and I want him to do that as soon as possible. I don't know. We'll try and find a decorator. It probably won't happen and we'll probably have to do the, the cupboards, but I'm getting a bit like, oh my gosh, there's so much painting and it means that um, I'm working like seven days a week because I'm also vlogging this, but I'm, uh, <laughs> but it will be over soon. It's kind of, I'm sure like everyone who's doing renovations knows this feeling that you feel like you're doing two jobs. You literally just feel like you're doing two jobs because that's just what happens. Anyway. I'm gonna go upstairs and get dressed into my paint clothes. What have you done to the chair, Reggie? Reggie, Buzzy. Reggie! Fuzzy! 
We're looking after my sister and brother-in-law's dog today because they're out at the spa. Um, but I am going to give up today. It's the first day of my period and I'm so happy on a side note about my period recently because I'm not getting period pains at the minute. Touch wood. Like for the last like six months, I haven't had period pains and every month I expect it to happen and then it doesn't. Which is weird to me because I used to think my period pains were kind of partly to do with stress and I wouldn't say I'm the most relaxed at the minute because of um, renovations happening. It's a bit like, ooh, maybe I'm just eating more balanced. Maybe it's because I'm hitting 30. Maybe it's a coincidence. I've no idea. But yeah, my period pains are just not what they used to be, which is wonderful. So, uh, but it is the first day of my period and inevitably you just feel a bit more tired. And I was doing some filling of the wood and I was getting like a sweaty upper lip and I was like, why am I sweating? Like, this is not like, I'm not hot right now, but I'm like a bit sweaty. <laughs> and I think that's just a um, first day of period symptom. I always am a little bit lower in energy. And I think that's my body saying, you've had a very busy week, very busy month probably best to be on the sofa today and just relax and I might do a bit of planning instead um, because at, in all actuality finishing painting those cupboards is not an urgent thing at all. Anthony's coming back next week to do the cupboards and pr sorry the doors not the cupboards obviously the cupboards have been done the doors and like the drawers and that kind of thing and I can just finish the painting probably best when all the tradesmen have gone and the room's a bit more tidy and it's it's maybe something that we can tackle as a as a room as a whole and then maybe just get Anthony back to just fit the doors on when we're finished so I'm just trying I'm trying to like use my time I'm like it's a Saturday I should do something I should do some di DIY I should use my time when actually I don't need to do that I don't need to rush and if I'm feeling a little bit tired from my period then Today is probably just a day to chill out and um, relax a little bit because I'm going out in a few hours anyway. So I'm gonna go get changed out of these horrible clothes. I also hate, I don't know, I don't know if I, I'm really sensitive and like clothes that have like bits of paint and labels that makes me feel like sensitive. So I'm gonna take all this stuff off and get into something soft. Do you know what, lots of you people online, you're making me think I've got ADHD and autism. I've had so many messages from people saying that to me. <laughs> I, I don't think I do, but like, you know, when you receive, or well, you probably don't know because you're not a content creator, but when you receive messages sometimes, you start to be convinced that it's right. And I've had multiple people over the years message me and be like, Maddie, I think you are autistic. Maddie, I think you've got ADHD. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get out of these clothes and wait for Alex to come home. Maybe we'll go in the hot tub. I'm all dressed up. Feels really weird to actually be dressed up to go on a night out. I say night out. I'm going out for a meal. And I think we're going to watch a bit of football. I mean, I don't like football, but the boys are going to be watching football. I thought I could talk you through my makeup for any of you that are interested. I'm really struggling with any sort of tripod situation. So you're very, very precariously propped. That I'll have to do. So we have... Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense on first. This is like SPF and it's a tinted moisturizer. I think basically it's like a primer for your makeup. Um, then we've got the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Uh, this is my favorite tinted moisturizer because I don't really wear foundation. And then we've um, used, where is it? Inerka Concealer. This is the Certified Organic Perfection Concealer. This is the only concealer I think I've used for about four or five years. Um, and then I've used this makeup palette from Pixie. And I used like a mixture of this color, this color, this color, this color, just like, this is the perfect little palette. It's the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette in Rustic Sunset. These are just all the colors that work well with my eye color, because I've got hazel eyes, so a bit of brown, bit of green. And I find these kinds of tones make that come out. So a bit of glitter, a bit of a sort of flick. So that's lovely. And then I've got this on my cheeks, the Pixie Honey Nectar Nuance Quartet. Ooh, got this colour on my cheeks. I'm noticing now I definitely need to blend that a little bit. Might be the camera. Doesn't really look like that in real life, but I'm going to blend that a little bit. Then we've got the Bare Minerals Bronzer, Bare Minerals Highlighter. The reason I have so much Bare Minerals is honestly because they gift me makeup and I adore their makeup. So I just stick to using it because it's beautiful makeup and therefore I don't need to go and get something different and it lasts a really long time because I don't 
really wear a lot of makeup. So then I've got the Bare Minerals Serum Infused Mascara. I also love the Inica Mascara. And then I've also got the Bare Minerals, oh, what is it called? The Brow Serum. This is the Brow, this is the Brow Gel and I just use that to brush my eyebrows up. Then I've got this Brow Define Eyebrow Pencil Makeup Academy. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. I just bought this online because I needed an eyebrow pencil and it does the job. But I think if I bought one again, I would get a darker one because this is a bit too brown warm for my eyebrows. I'd probably get more of a, a gray or a black. Um, I've also got this on. I always put this on. It's like a cream blusher. And then I put a bit extra powder blusher on top if I need it. And then on my lips is uh, Bare Minerals Grace lipstick. These are their... Uh, Hydra smoothing lipstick. Yeah, this is not sponsored by Bare Minerals. Just because they I, they send me stuff, I use it. Um, the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil powder. And yeah, that is my makeup look for the evening. Feeling quite glam. Never put this much makeup on anymore. It's kind of nice. Um, and then I'll show you my outfit. You're not really going to be able to see this outfit very well because it's so dark. But I just got this dress on from Linen Fox. It does button all the way to the top, but I'm just kind of like tucking this open a bit just so it's got a bit of a v-neck for the evening. I really honestly didn't really want to wear anything tight. I'm on my period, like I said, I just want to wear like a nice loose dress and this is perfect for that. I've got tights on because I forgot to shave my legs. <laughs> and then I've got these shoes on, which I haven't worn in so long and they are from Koi Footwear. And that is my outfit. And people often ask me about my necklaces. This was a gift from my sister as her maid of honor. All the bridesmaids got this little infinity necklace. And then this one is from Lily Flow. Lily Flow jewelry. I'll link it below. I got it on Worth, one of my favorite websites. Um, and I wear these both every single day. And that's it. And I think I'll say goodbye to you. Um, and I'm gonna pop on my sunglasses, which look fab. And yeah, I'll say goodbye to you and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna go out and have a nice evening. Oh, I've also got the Bare Minerals highlighter on. I literally am a face of Bare Minerals, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and Alex and I were chatting earlier about what's to come this week. Got a lot of um, organization to do. Ooh, throwing my sunglasses all over the place. Got a lot of organization to do when it comes to getting this house, um, this kitchen done, but it's exciting. We're like, get into the exciting bit so yeah we'll see you in our next video hopefully the wood burner will be in bye bye